wonderful smell coming from here. Apples always produce this wonderful smell. And I've always liked this receipt because it was in the days of swing when I was about 14. And I think it was the Andrew sisters. And they sang this wonderful song called Shoe fly pie and apple pie and dowdy make your eyes light up and your tummy say howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Tummy say howdy. howdy. I like the idea of your tummy <laughs> saying howdy. Yes, that's very good. Anyway, it's a, a form of apple pie, and when cooked, served with a large quantity of whipped cream. What oh, could yes. be nicer? I'm going to make a raspberry shortcake today. It's not shortcake like Scotland means shortcake. It's a sort of mixture between that and rather a scone. But my poor little raspberries have taken rather a bash on the way here. I think Clarissa sat on them. I didn't. Well, they're not, not all they should be, so I'm going to add some strawberries, but I wouldn't normally. I would only use very beautiful raspberries. Anyway, what we start with is sifted flour, which is in here, and I'm going to add almonds, ground almonds. Pop them in. Then two good pinches of cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah. That goes into the crumb, you might say. It gives that... You know how delicious cinnamon toast and things are. Mm, yes, yeah. I never thought of it with strawberries, that's all. Well, it's really with raspberries, but it's uh, going to be a mixture today on account of you sat on them. I never. <laughs> it's those rough, bumpy roads, Jennifer. I do, I do. And the speed at which you were riding the bike. <laughs> anyway, it's a pity, but there you are. It's shortbread in Scotland, not shortcake. Yes, yeah, shortbread. Like two set of Gambians lying in bed, one turned over to the other and said, Mum's gonna make some shortening bread. Mum's little baby likes shortening, shortening. Mum's little, little baby, baby likes like shortening, shortening bread. That's what we're up to. Time for hand manipulation, I think. We want to take, get that into a, a bowl. I used to come to the west of Ireland a lot as a child, because my father had cousins in Donegal. I remember being with my grandmother in Tipperary once and asking the way to the post office. The man sort of leant down into the car and said, well, you see as far as you can see. Can you go <laughs> as far as you can see? And then the post office is just beyond it. We never found the post office. <laughs> and if you see a signpost, pay no attention to it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm dividing this into equal more or less, equal bits. And you just put it into the pan like that and then sort of with your knuckles, press, just press it to fill the pan, which have been buttered. You could use a shillelagh. What for? Well, for pressing it down with. <laughs> with a shillelagh under me arm and a twinkle in me eye, I'll, I'll be, be off to Tipperary in the mar. Then I think knuckles will do. Yes. Chanel is a great big thing. I know, but it's right. such a nice word. <laughs> That's all right. What I tend to do is turn them upside down for the spreading bit. I think it receives um, the juices better. You get a nice little pot of raspberry jam, and you, you spread this liberally. Then, my poor little raspberries, I'll put some of them in the middle. I'll just put those there, and I can put lots of strawberries round. Rather oh, pretty, the two reds, actually. Yeah, Poor so. little things. Now, good big dollops of cream. I bet Sister Benedict has good cream from those cows. Now we get the other one, and put it on top, press it in, <coughs> and now the rest of the cream. Quite difficult to handle this when you're eating it. Probably best eaten in the bath. Squish it down. And we'll put some raspberries and strawberries on the top. I wonder where that strange expression, you, you know, blowing a raspberry comes from. I haven't the remotest idea. That's when you do that frightfully rude thing and go, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Charles Lawton did a wonderful one in Ruggles of Red Gap. He was a drunken butler, and, and his boss had given him the sack, and he just went... 
Babies love it when you do it to them, don't they? Yeah, and they like doing it back. 